Original equipment or OE battery manufacturers like GSU ASA construct a battery based on quality and the performance requirements of the OE vehicle manufacturer, not on a cost basis. Some private brand battery manufacturers limit the amount of materials used in battery construction to reduce costs. The most expensive product used in the manufacture of a battery is lead. The removal of lead reduces battery reliability, specification, performance and service life. Battery technologies and performance specifications vary based on the demands of the vehicle starting systems, electrical consumers and additional emissions reduction systems. Identifying the correct battery technology and performance specification for a vehicle is critical to ensure good battery life, vehicle system performance and reliability. The GS and UASA battery lookup systems remove the possibility of the incorrect battery being used for the required application. They also provide a great deal of additional information to ensure that the appropriate battery is correctly installed on the vehicle. There are many factors that can affect the performance and lifespan of a battery when in service. With the exception of general wear and tear, which is a natural part of battery usage, one or a combination of adverse operating conditions can lead to premature battery failure, customer complaints and warranty issues. As a battery ages and is subject to wear and tear, low temperatures during the cold winter months can seriously affect battery performance. The lower temperatures reduce the ability of the battery to supply required cranking power to start the engine and its ability to become recharged once the engine has started. As with cold temperatures, high battery temperatures can also affect service life. High temperatures accelerate the deterioration of the internal components, which reduces performance and lifespan. Plate sulfation is a natural part of the discharge process, which can be reversed if the battery is recharged in a short time frame. If left in a discharge state for an extended period, the internal battery components can become permanently damaged by the sulfation process. This permanent damage reduces the ability of the battery to become fully charged and also to produce the required cranking current. Acid stratification is a condition that is more common in the cold winter months in batteries installed on vehicles that are used infrequently. These conditions cause a separation of the acid and water in the electrolyte resulting in the acid sinking to the bottom of the battery. This causes battery damage that reduces life and performance in a short service time period. Deeply discharging a battery results in excessive internal damage when recharged. Deep discharge damage causes reduced service life, rapid loss of performance and is usually associated with use on taxis as well as delivery and constant shift pattern vehicles. Subjecting a battery to excessive overcharging results in internal damage due to the unregulated amount of electrical energy being forced into the battery by the vehicle's faulty charging system. Overcharging damage causes reduced service life, rapid loss of performance and can be identified using some basic vehicle checks. Undercharging is when the battery receives a lower level of electrical energy than is required to reach a charged state. This condition can be caused by infrequent use or by the vehicle's faulty charging system. Undercharging results in the same internal damage, loss of performance and reduced service life caused by plate sulfation as previously described. Warranty failures are typically seen within a 12 month service period and are a result of manufacturing or material defects. There are three common warranty battery failure modes, short circuit, dead cell and open circuit. Identifying a warranty failure can be carried out using suitable diagnostic equipment such as a conductance tester. These are readily available and are capable of interrogating sealed battery types. Music